Ready? Action. <laughs> Sorry. Action. Did somebody say it was a library? <laughs> I don't know, they told me it was a library and I'm looking for a book. I think fashion was one of those things that I just came into kicking and screaming. I was a runaway at 15, so I was surrounded by all these creative people and they wanted to put you up front and center. And my friends in the industry in New York are like, oh, you should come to New York and I got a job, you should, you're a stylist. I didn't even know what a stylist was. I came to New York to style a job and the photographer had asked me for some things, which I would thought like, wow, where am I gonna get that? And somebody said, oh, you don't know Imelda's Closet. Imelda's Closet. I don't know if anybody remembers that. The place was packed from floor to ceiling. Irene Albright is the founder. She was standing on a ladder. I thought she was gonna fall off. She says, how come you don't know me? How come you don't know this place? Where are you from? <laughs> Irene had just taken this place after 9-11. I offered to come in and help with the move. I thought I was just gonna stay for a few weeks. It's been uh, 14, 15 years. Oh, we are in the evening gown selection. You will find everything alphabetized, colorized, and Disneyized for the viewing pleasure. And so woman's going to an event. Who are you in the event? Who are you sitting next to? Are you going with a husband? Are you looking for a husband? I had a friend call them all her friends. These are all old friends. Lots of fur. I don't know if fur's still in, though, but um, we have fake. <laughs> How has the space evolved over time? We would, for the most part, arrange everything by item. This woman, uh, a great stylist, um, Jenny Capitan. If you don't know who she is, look her up. She came through here one day, and I was so honored to have her in the showroom. But she walked through everything, and she was like, you must have everything. Everything is precious. And then I, I just got it, because other than just throwing things onto the rack to make everything precious and make it desirable. Get that on tape, honey. <laughs> I'm giving you some good one-liners here. <laughs> the whole place is personal to me. I don't know, I feel like I have my hands on every part of it, just keeping it organized. Unfortunately, I have a really great team that keeps me in check. Lindsay Cox, Cecilia Bowe, Rachel Cozum, Danielle Garcia, Patricia Black. <laughs> I ask a lot of the young people that come here, I ask them to think about everything but fashion. To read the New York Times, for instance. Read it cover to cover. Let the world um, inform what fashion is to you. I always say these dresses have to go out and dance, right? I can't just sit here. I can put in whatever price tag I want on them. But if they're not dancing, they're just dying a very slow death. Just sitting on the rack. Yeah. That was the end of the scene right there. <laughs> <laughs>